Can this guitar or microphone improve the sound of any acoustic guitar plugged in? Let's find out. This is the iSolo GT10 guitar pickup by the company Cloud Vocal. Let me quickly share a few of the key specs about it and then give some brief thoughts. If you wanna see the full list of specs, I'll leave a link down in the description. This wireless pickup uses a 2.4 gigahertz frequency with smart automatic frequency hopping. It uses a cardioid condenser microphone on an adjustable arm that mounts inside of the guitar sound hole and can be adjusted to pick up from any part inside the guitar. The receiver acts as an active direct box and can send a balance signal directly to your snake or mixer. It has some built-in EQ controls and even some built-in effects. It also has connections for a mute pedal and can even accept input from your guitar's built-in element pickup and then mix between the iSolo microphone and your guitar pickup. And that's where I think this product shines for a church scenario. You see, the problem with playing an acoustic guitar live is that it doesn't usually sound very much like an acoustic. Most guitars have an element pickup that is designed to create sound by vibration in the guitar body. This is great for a live scenario because it creates much less feedback and ambient noise than if you were to externally mic the guitar, but you trade that for authenticity in the sound. That's why I traded the factory pickup in my Taylor for an LR Bags Anthem pickup. The Anthem is a dual element and microphone system with the mic mounted internally under the bridge and then you can mix between the two and get your desired sound for different scenarios. And it sounds really good, but it costs $300 and has to be professionally installed by a luthier. And in a scenario like church, where you probably have multiple acoustic players, all with different guitars, this is not a plausible solution. But with the iSolo, you could literally just transfer one unit from one guitar to another. And in a live scenario, I don't think the iSolo works the best when you rely fully on the microphone itself, but when you mix your guitar's already built-in element pickup with the iSolo mic, it has a much more authentic acoustic sound with decent feedback rejection. Okay, enough explaining. Let's test it out on a few different guitars and see how it sounds. If you wanna dive into the specs of the iSolo some more, I'll leave the product page linked in the description.
Now let me know what you thought down in the comments, which sounded the best. Like I said, I think that the I solo adds a lot more authenticity to the guitar when playing live. It even picks up on individual characteristics of each guitar. In a scenario where you want to improve the sound of multiple acoustic players in your church, I think this is a great tool, but it's definitely not for everybody. Two disclaimers that Cloud Vocal asked me to share are about wireless range and power. The typical range is 15 meters and the wireless range is affected by the surroundings, especially when there are obstacles or interference nearby. I only ever tested this with a direct line of sight from the pickup to the guitar, with the only possible obstacle being the guitar body, and I never had any dropouts or interference. I also never noticed any latency. Another thing they wanted me to mention is ways of powering the receiver unit. For guitarists that own isolated power supplies, it's a perfect match as long as they use center negative cords. If not, they recommend avoiding the daisy chain methods. Most of the noise that some users experience is from daisy chain powering. If you're curious about guitar compatibility, they include two different sizes of sound hole plugs. One is smaller and designed for classical guitar and the other is designed to fit in most steel string guitars, as well as two different sizes for the partial mount as well. Well, that's all I have for you in this video. Be sure to check out the GT10 at the link in the description. And thank you so much to Cloud Vocal for sending me this unit to try it out. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.